Now, moving on to the second fundamental right, that is right to freedom. What is right to freedom? Right to freedom is a detailed act which provides for everybody in detail of all the other aspects which are is enshrined in this act. First one, the freedom of speech and expression. Everybody will have a right to express their views, their feelings in a manner which doesn't hurt anybody else. They can put their views by having an assembly. They can do it through media. They can also do it a painting. They can also publish a paper on that. They can also write a book on that. So different, different aspects of presenting their views and expression. They can sing songs. They can make the plays. They can make a theater show. According to their choice, everybody has a right to talk, to speak, to convey their message. But obviously, it should not be a defamatory speech or a hate speech, obviously made by the politicians in order to raise the anger between two communities of people. It may be two religious aspects, two different caste aspects, two different section aspects, two different regionalism aspects. These are strictly prohibited. Your speech should not be in such a way that it is going to hurt the feelings of the other community of the people. It should not have the defamatory effect of that. It should be in a respectable manner and it should not hurt the feelings or sentiments of any other communities, group, religious aspects or anything else. Then you have the right to freedom of speech and expression. Then moving on to the second one. Assemble peacefully without arms. You have a right to assemble, to gather, to make functions, to conduct meetings, to discuss about the policies, to move on further with the discussion on the policies of debates and all these things, provided you don't harm or disturb the other people and you don't move on with weapons against the people to get scared in that region and you may create some kind of violence by carrying some weapons. So any peaceful assemble without weapons is permitted legally under the fundamental right of second provision where you can have the right to freedom to assemble peacefully. Moving on to the form associations and unions. You as a citizen of India and if you are an employee of a factory or if an employee of a call, any other place, you stay at a particular colony, you can have your own colony association, you can have your own religious community group, you can have your own factory trade union which provides for us to discuss the policies or problems of the employees, policies or problems of the colony or the issues related to your personal matters or personal problems, anything can be done by forming associations and unions which were once upon a time banned and even in the communist countries, even today we don't have trade unions having their powerful say in the same manner but Indian government has ensured people to form their own associations and constitutions freely but it should not hurt the harm the other sentiments. Moving on, freedom to move freely. You have a right to move in the Indian boundary from east to west and north to south. That is from Himalayas to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh. And these are free accession to all the places where the military does not put any restrictions, where you don't fall in controversy with the national boundary issues. Till there, you have a reasonable restriction. Other than that, you have the freedom to move to any corner or any place of the nation. And you also have a right to settle any place in India which are you feel like it is comfortable for you. You may be belonging to Gujarat. You may be settling in Arunachal Pradesh. You have a right to settle there. You may be belonging to Himalayas, Jammu and Kashmir built. But you can settle in Madhya Pradesh region or in Karnataka, or in Gujarat, or somewhere else, wherever you feel it is comfortable. It is not compulsory that wherever you are born, you have to be staying there only. You can move to any place, you can settle any place, you can do the profession what you like. Suppose you like teaching, you can join as a teacher, provided if you have that qualifications, and if any school provides the opportunity for you. If you are a talented person of doing dance, you can move to movies and make your dance programs. If you are a person of knowledge and wisdom 
and you want to do the profession of law yes if you have the law qualification you can move further so basing on your interest and your passion you can do of your choice any job nobody can dictate or restrict you from doing any such kind of job which you are feeling interested but you should not be involved in any terrorist group activities or any other activities of anti social elements obviously the government would have problem and it would restrict your actions or it would sometimes arrest you and penalize you for this kind of actions and moving on to right to life the most important one or the heart of this right is the right to life the right to life provides opportunity for us to live our life freely even if anybody is imprisoned they should not be penalized or imprisoned for more than the time which the law dictates you have the freedom of right to life and liberty for you but you don't have the right to suicide yourself or to commit any suicide that's not the right which is given by the constitution to you if you are committing a suicide obviously it is a crime you will be penalized for that you have a right to live and you have the right to liberty to live according to your choice but not to kill yourself because that is again violation of the basic human rights or especially the fundamental right according to indian constitution so these are the special provisions made in this second law of right to freedom which provides for us the freedom of speech and expression and you should not harm anybody with your freedom of speech you should not make any hate speeches or defamatory speeches assemble peacefully without any arms you can gather but you should not carry any arms forms of associations and unions you can form different associations and different groups of your friends communities categories working group place anywhere but it should not harm the other interest and you should not work for any anti social elements you can have the freedom of to moving from any corner to any corner of india you can settle at any place you can buy house at any place you can build your house at any place you can work at any place you can choose your job or profession your choice of jobs but it should not be involving any harm to the society and the most important one you have the right to life the right to life provides you the opportunity for you to live and to live freely and liberty not to commit suicide because killing yourself is not a right guaranteed by the indian constitution